Hello, and welcome to UAB Comprehensive Transplant Institute. My name is Maisha McLaughlin, and I am the lead kidney and pancreas transplant coordinator at UAB Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama. In this video, I will discuss the benefits and risk of a kidney transplant, the evaluation process, what you should do while waiting for a transplant, and what happens when an organ is found for you. Why kidney transplant? With kidney transplant, compared to dialysis, most people feel better and live longer. You will enjoy a more liberal diet and will have more energy to exercise, travel, and work. What are the drawbacks or disadvantages to kidney transplant? You will have to undergo a major operation that has risk both during and after the surgery. Take anti-rejection medications for the life of the kidney. These medicines help to prevent your body from rejecting the new kidney. Most are well tolerated, but there are some side effects. Depending on the type of insurance you have, medications can be costly. On average, a kidney transplant will last 10 years, but some last longer than that. If you lose your transplant, you may have to start dialysis and or be evaluated for another transplant. The purpose of the evaluation is for you to learn about transplant and for us to determine if transplant is the best option for you. Unfortunately, transplant is not the best option for everyone. Our goal is to make you better and live a more healthier lifestyle. Your medical history will be reviewed to see if you meet the criteria for transplant evaluation. Here are some reasons a patient may not be a candidate for transplant. Advanced age, frail or weakness, severe heart disease, active cancer, obesity, defined as a body mass index greater than 40, poor blood circulation, other diseases, lack of compliance with dialysis treatments, medications, follow-up appointments, or a lack of social support, such as no transportation or no caregiver. With these serious medical conditions, a kidney transplant might be dangerous or unlikely to be successful. In this case, you will need to remain on dialysis. What must you do to be listed on UAB's transplant list? First, you must undergo transplant evaluation and complete all required testing and consults to determine if you are a good candidate for transplant. It is really important that you have transportation to and from UAB for evaluations, organ offers, and clinic visits. You must be able to stay in the Birmingham area for several weeks at your expense. You will also need a reliable and a dependable caregiver to assist you during your stay after transplant to help you manage your new kidney. Transplant is a team sport. At UAB, we are committed to your care. You and your caregiver are a part of our team, as well as a transplant surgeon, nephrologist, a coordinator, a social worker, financial counselor, pharmacist, dietitians, and nurses. Our job is to determine if transplant is the best option for you and to help navigate you through the process. To be considered for transplant, your nephrologist or dialysis unit will need to submit a referral to the transplant center. Your medical information will be reviewed by the team to determine if you meet the criteria for an evaluation. If you are approved for an evaluation, a transplant coordinator will contact you to gather information about your medical, surgical, social, family history, medications, and allergies. You will need to complete the online education modules provided to you prior to your evaluation appointment. As part of the process, 
You will meet with a financial counselor and a social worker to discuss your out-of-pocket expenses and social needs. On the day of your appointment, you will meet various members of our team, have a physical examination, and be able to ask any questions you still have about transplantation. At the end of the appointment, if additional testing is needed, you and your kidney doctor will be given a letter outlining what needs to be completed. These tests or consults can be completed in your hometown or here at UAB. You will have six months after your clinic visit to complete all testing. We ask that you contact your transplant coordinator once you have completed everything to ensure records have been received in our office. Once we receive all of your tests, your case will be presented to our selection committee to determine if you are a candidate for transplant. Selection Conference is a multidisciplinary team meeting. The Selection Conference is where we discuss your results and the best options for you. Our committee meets to review medical history and test results to determine if transplantation is the best option. Our transplant coordinator will call you within 24 to 48 hours after the selection conference to discuss your case. Your outcome will either be approved for listing, not listed needing additional testing, candidate for living donor transplant only, or not a candidate for transplant. You and your nephrologist will receive written notification with the reason for the decision. While you are waiting to receive your transplant, we encourage you to maintain a healthy lifestyle by exercising as much as you can and eating a well-balanced diet. Please stay up to date on your health maintenance exams by getting regular mammograms, colonoscopies, and pap smears. Also, while you are waiting, we will schedule you for a reevaluation appointment when you get closer to transplant to update your test and review your medical history again to make sure you are still a good candidate. We ask that you notify your transplant coordinator of any changes in your health. Your transplant coordinator will stay in touch with you as you wait for your transplant, either by phone calls or letters. Please let us know if you have a new phone number, a new address, change dialysis units or doctors, new insurance, any new medications, or any changes in your health. Keep us in the loop. Keeping us updated of any changes is important to the success of your transplant. Once an organ is found for you, you will receive a call from a transplant coordinator asking you to come to UAB. Once at UAB, you will be assessed by our team to see if you're still healthy enough to get the transplant. There is a small possibility the transplant may not happen if there are any last minute changes or abnormal findings with the donor organ or recipient. After the transplant surgery, you will be in the hospital for three to seven days. You will be required to stay within the Birmingham area for several weeks after you are discharged from the hospital. We ask that you bring a qualified caregiver at the time of your transplant to help you during your stay. As a reminder, please watch the other educational videos we have provided on transplantation and other options that may be available for you. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please discuss them with our team during your evaluation visit. We thank you for choosing UAB Comprehensive Transplant Institute as your transplant center. We look forward to seeing you soon.